this is a quick overview of the programmer portion of the power velocity application smartphone application for Android and iOS uh, to and I'll focus primarily in this section on the programmer because that's uh, something that uh, um, people ask about how to set uh, certain values and what values to set in the settings of the of the programmer and I'll, I'll focus on that so in this section of the application we have all the a lot of settings so and I'll go over each of them and explain what they do and what settings you want to set values you want to want to adjust and different situations like your voltage and uh, type of a motor and, and other things so anyway so the first uh, at the uh, upper uh, portion of the um, at the upper portion of the application or programmer section you have read and flash that's self-explanatory so if I adjust that to something random and then I hit read settings are read from the controller and uh, restored so that's uh, you don't have to second guess what your settings are and you can quickly adjust them uh, particular settings you want uh, you want to change uh, okay so I read the settings and um, I obviously need to set the right type of the controller you you have in my case this is going to be a F2420 and that means it has 24 MOSFETs and it has 120 volt rating um, so that's what's uh, what I said it will set it to first setting is is simple this is a regenerative braking so if you don't want your motor to slow down as you hit the brakes and uh, you don't want to brake with your motor you set it to off and when you do you will not get current back uh, reverse current back to your battery so the only thing that the brake levers will do when the brakes will do will just cut off the throttle and uh, let you uh, adjust uh, free uh, uh, free wheel in and it will not uh, cut off I mean will not brake slow down I will need to use a regular brakes that this may be a, a case uh, for mid drives that don't have ability to some of them most of them don't have the ability to to use the regenerative brake because they have free will then uh, okay I'll just leave it on because I want to have regenerative brake and I have a hub motor that uh, I can do that can can slow down and saves me a lot of uh, uh, brake pads um, so Regen strength, this is self-explanatory again, so if you want to have a range from 0 to 20, I mean 200, 200 being very strong and 0 being almost non-existent. So in my case, I set it to 100, 120 because I have a heavier bike, but for a lighter bike, like 70, 80 pound, pounds, that, that's what you want to set it probably at 70. Um, start with 70 and then you can adjust but as a rule of thumb just 70 so it'll get some regen it will won't be as strong and if you want to get it stronger or lighter then you'll adjust so I'll leave it at 120 throttle brake is uh, uh, something that uh, most people probably will not want on a bike on the car some kind of a car a vehicle uh, like three or four wheel vehicle use something that you want to have some people really like it if some if you drove a, a Tesla car this is something they have by default they call it one pedal driving so when you have this on as you release the throttle the regen will kick in immediately uh, I'm not using it Regen voltage. This is probably the most confusing, confusing uh, setting in 
that people are getting it wrong, but uh, so I have to rename it something more, um, something that makes more sense, I guess. But uh, regen voltage is actually your highest voltage that you want uh, your regen to to generate. So if your if your charge this is your battery highest charge voltage, and sometimes you want to set it few volt lower. You don't want too much voltage flowing back, uh, of too much voltage uh, recharging your battery as you as you use in regen. So I have a 24s. Uh, 26s battery pack and charges up to 190 volt. I'm sorry, 109 volt. And I said this 206. So a little bit just two volt below that. And I don't charge my battery to 109. Charge it to 106, and uh, just that that uh, increases the number of cycles that I can have on it. Instead of maybe. Um, 700 I can get thousand cycles I have never been able to test that uh, anyway uh, LVC most people will know what it is it's a low voltage cutoff if you don't use a BMS this is something useful one interesting uh, uh, side effect of this if you set this for example in my case I can if I set it to 74 volt 74 volt it will still allow me to um, to ride my battery will not die at 74 volt at 70 it will die uh, the charge level will go below 3 volt per cell so <clears throat> however if I'm approaching this 70 volts let's say I'm at 80 volt what what the uh, controller will do by default it will start to roll back your current so you'll start losing a little bit of power um, and that it will allow you to uh, to uh, prevent the premature uh, battery cutoff so it will not load the battery as much will still be able to go and write however if you don't want to do that what you can do is just lower it to 60 or so so it will you will get still full power at almost discharged battery but you're at risk of uh, triggering your BMS cut off so this is this what's called a, a soft uh, low voltage cut off and it's it can be very handy on a, on a car I mean on a, on a electric vehicle where you're running out of a battery you, can, you it will conserve the battery for you so you can make it there um, without uh, and you will send you a signal technically if you're not watching your gauges that uh, you are about to run out of the juice and you will still probably be able depending on your battery run for another 10 miles or so it's like a it's like a reserve um, reserve fuel in your car even though your um, gauge shows zero you will still be able to go for another 50 miles or so so this is a this is a handy interesting kind of a feature I set it at 70 I bear I rarely run up run my battery dry but uh, this is a something uh, interesting that you can use phase current um, you know, most people will know what it is I'm gonna skip it for now I'm gonna come back to it a little bit later just in a second Battery current is, uh, in my case, this is going to be 80. And uh, you would set your phase current at rule of thumb 2.5 times the battery current. So that would be around 220. Doesn't have to be exact. So if you uh, have trouble adjusting it, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Power levels. So power levels versus speed. So next six settings are. Um, are different. Uh, maybe they are they they sound the same, but they they just the uh, three position switch that you may want to connect to your is very handy, really, uh, if you connect to your controller. And power levels will adjust your torque per each um, position of this of the switch. And so in the first position you'll get uh, ten, and this is percentage. So you'll get. 15% this is how I adjust it first is when I write them on 
um, pedestrians and you know want to be safe and legal and compliant so I do that and don't want to endanger anyone 50 is a uh, economy mode uh, it's uh, it's not uh, al allowing you to um, not allowing you to uh, f to use all your current uh, capa uh, capability but I will still allow you to get to, to high speed so it's a, it's like a, your long range mode uh, middle position of the switch and the power level is at 100 this, that's off route like if you wanna do a little bit of a burnouts or whatever you wanna do so so the speed speed is versus the power level so speed this will actually uh, instead of the torque uh, uh, um, adjustments um, as in case with power levels will adjust the the speed the rotation speed of the uh, of the of your RPMs technically of your uh, motor um, I don't use it I don't like it it just uh, but some people will want to have it you can use both concurrently they will not override in each other so you can adjust both the torque and the speed of RPMs okay flux weakening is something that uh, I'm gonna focus too much on but uh, it will allow you to get a boost up to 30 percent certain cases even more I was able to uh, spin my motor at regular non flux no flux weakening at 70 miles per hour and this will if I set it to something like this uh, it will allow me to spin it at 130 miles per hour so that there is a like a 70 percent of the boost <clears throat> of this in speed not not in torque obviously the torque is limited by the amount of uh, uh, current you set and your battery that would be this setting uh, the flux uh, will allow you to get higher rpms if you need at the expense of the efficiency reverse speed well that's self-explanatory um, if you use reverse on most bikes two-wheel bikes you will not use or have it even though some people have it but on cars or any vehicles that uh, uh, three and four or more wheels you may want to use this one and this will just adjust your in percentage how fast you can go you can back up so it's, uh, for safety you probably don't want to go uh, backwards for uh, a very high speed unless you really like it okay so um, uh, uh, last two items are uh, soft um, soft start so what this will do is that it will allow you to I know some people said that they're the, the, the uh, throttle can be really touchy um, and so that what this will do it will adjust the, the curve of the response of your throttle can be pretty good pretty uh, useful feature for for safety so if your if your bike wheelies all the time when you hit the throttle this is something you might you want to use however if you like to wheelie you we'll just turn it off so this concludes the uh, uh, review of the program section of the application. So again, I'm going to read. I want to adjust something. Um, flash. And it says successful. Uh, on most recent uh, versions of, uh, of the uh, uh, bike, you don't need to reset or anything. You can just adjust and, and go immediately. <laughs> So you can go immediately without resetting your by uh, controller or shutting it off or uh, power cycling. You don't have to do that. So you can go. Immediately.